We have a Ford V6 3 liter overhead valve that we're going to go through the steps in replacing the water pump. Before performing a cooling system repair, it is recommended to flush the cooling system prior to installing any new parts. With the cooling system flushed and drained, we'll disconnect the negative battery cable before beginning the repair. Removing the hood strut is not necessary, but will ease in accessing the water pump area. As part of the flushing procedure, we've removed and cleaned the coolant recovery tank. You will have to remove this to gain access to the water pump. Before starting your repair, you always want to be sure you're working with a cool engine. Before removing the drive belt, loosen the water pump pulley bolts. Remove the motor mount strut and drive belt. Remove the alternator from its bracket and set to the side. Completely remove the motor mount bracket and remove the idler pulley. Remove the belt tensioner and the air conditioner support bracket. Remove the heater hose and disconnect the crankshaft position sensor. Finish removing the pulley bolts. Remove the pulley. Remove the 12 water pump retaining bolts and remove the pump from the vehicle. As you remove the water pump, keep in mind there may be some residual coolant in the system. Be sure and capture this. It's very important to thoroughly clean the gasket surface, making sure that any old gasket is removed. Be very cautious not to damage the mounting surface. If using a silicone-based type sealant, only lightly apply it to the gasket surface areas, paying particular attention to the bolt hole area. Using excessive sealant can cause coolant system failures. It's not necessary, but it's also a good idea to apply a small amount of anti-seize to the thread area. Install a water pump to the engine block and torque the large bolts 15 to 22 foot-pounds and the small bolts 71 to 106 inch-pounds. Install the air conditioning support bracket and the belt tensioner. Reconnect the crankshaft position sensor and heater hose. Install the water pump pulley onto the hub and hand tighten the retaining bolt. We will fully tighten them after putting the drive belt in place. Install the idler pulley. Loosely install the motor mount brackets and alternator into locations. Put the motor mount brackets and alternator in place, tighten all the retaining bolts. Install the drive belt. Be sure and check the tensioner, making sure it's within specification. Always inspect the drive belt, making sure it's not cracked or damaged in any way. With the drive belt in place, fully tighten the water pump pulley bolts. Install the pressure tank into location. And reattach the hood strut. Fill the system with a 50-50 blend of coolant and distilled water. It's a good idea to test your pressure cap. A faulty pressure cap can lead to an inefficient cooling system. If you do not have access to a pressure tester, these are available at your local parts store. With the repair complete, reattach the negative battery cable. Start the vehicle with the cabin heater on high. Allow the engine to reach operating temperature. Once the engine has reached operating temperature, check the coolant system for any leaks. At this point, shut the engine off, allow to cool fully, check the pressure tank and top off the coolant as needed. 